what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so are you a mobile game player you are going to love this this is the razor kishi and in fact linus actually did a video about it so appreciate you for watching mine the moose appreciate you see that look on his face but anyway this i am a huge mobile game player love my video games so i wanted this and i reached out to them and they actually sent me one i was like wow they actually sent me one of these it took a little uh finessing you know i kind of lied a little about how many subscribers i had but anyway that's not the point the point is this let's check this thing out it's ultra low latency gameplay and it's in spanish Universal gaming controller for Android. That's right, it's Type C. I didn't. I don't have an Apple. I don't do Apple. But like, this was the most recommended on Amazon. Exactly what I need. I also need the Razer headphones. That's the next thing that I need. But anyway, this. Let's open it. is in the box whoa that's kind of cool it actually kind of looks like an xbox controller almost looks nice let's see here how do i open it oh i just pull it straight out that's it there's really a uh, razor kishi huh let's see here all right so what i'm thinking you do is you just kind of peel that all right, we'll just stick that over there. Let's see here, what's that say? Pull both of the release latches to expand the controller. All right, let's do that, pull both of them. Oh, that's cool, there's a Razer logo on the back. I'm trying to be somewhat gentle with it. Release straps, I guess. Okay, all right, I got it, okay. Hmm. Type C. I guess that's for your like speakers and stuff. Is there? Okay, that's for charging. Is there a like a? Am I curious about? Was there a headphone? I didn't see anywhere on here where I could plug a pair of headphones into it. Maybe I can plug them into the phone. No, because once you put this on there, I don't see how you're going to get access to your phone. All right, well, let me put my phone in it. Let me put my phone in it, and we'll see how it interacts. Ooh, that's a snug fit. As soon as I plugged the phone in, this little blue light came on, and then my phone went to this. So, let's see here. I'm going to plug in the other side now. It does say charging. So I think I may need to charge this. Let's see here. That, was like, that goes in there like that, right? Oh yeah, that's a real snug fit. Hang on. Navigate my screen. See the, the cursor moving? Don't know that number. But anyway, I can move the cursor. Like I was saying. Let's see. Hang on. Yeah, touch screen still works. All right, let's see what happens. I'm curious to see what happens if I load a game. My phone is almost too wide for this controller. Like it barely fits on there. See the top camera? 
It doesn't even, I think this should go below the camera, at least to right there where the screen is. That's how far more, because that's how far it goes on this one. See that? It covers like the whole bottom of the phone, but this end, it, I mean, it's barely on there, but it does kind of feel, maybe I need to tighten it up in the back. I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to read the instructions. Maybe I opened the manual and these cool razor stickers came out. That's a nice little touch. The manual is really little and it's in about 15 different languages. So we'll give that a think. Okay, so here's what's going on. The right side of the controller is inverted and the left side is normal. I can only fire two out of the three buttons or two out of the three weapons and only two buttons work. The trigger buttons and these top bumper buttons, they're, they don't do anything. Same with this, this does nothing as well. See the robot will move, kinda, like he'll walk but he won't look left or right. See, left, right. But if I hold the stick down, he'll turn. If I hold the stick up, he'll turn. And then, sorry about the glare there. Let's see here, this one only fires one. See what there should be, you should be able to push one button and all three weapons should fire. That's what should happen. And I don't know why these top bumpers aren't doing anything, nor any of this stuff. See that? I don't know. I'm going to charge it up, and then I'm going to go through and see if maybe I can um, try to figure something out. I do like the compactness of it. So when you're done, the whole thing just kind of, you know, collapses back together, locks in together. You can kind of see how it locks in there. And then you can just carry it around i even think they make a case for this but i do like how it goes you know from like that to real compact and it's held together by this like rubber with hard plastic squares in it kind of deal okay so what i'm discovering is that you need to download the kishi razor app and then once you do that you can go into discover and what this does is it gives you a list of all the games that are compatible with the device because not every game is compatible with the device so I have to find a game in here that's compatible with it and then what you do is once you let's see here if I go back if I go to launcher see I've added war robots to it but it says that this game may not be supported by the controller and it even says that it's untested but once the game goes in there you'll hit launch and then it launches the game now the device itself does not need to be charged when you connect that it actually charges the phone and the device just feeds off the phone so that's a pass-through charger is what that's called unfortunately it does not work for my robot bots <sighs> with this game but that's not going to happen so I'll find another use for it so there's your little warning about the device it's not compatible with every game so what I would do is I would download their app first the Razer Kishi app and then go through that and see if your game is in there before you go and buy this but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one